Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Brian, I'm the founder of NaviUpgrade.com and today I'm going to show you how you can install custom backgrounds using the FMODS tools on your Sync 3 device. So if you'd like to learn how to install your own custom backgrounds on your Sync 3 module using the FMODS toolkit slash jailbreak thing, uh, then please follow along this video. Please also remember that you'll actually need to jailbreak your module, which actually requires physical access to it. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can check out my video uh, right up here on how you can do that. After you do the jailbreak procedure, all you're going to need is a USB flash drive to flash the backgrounds onto your module with. I'm not only going to be teaching you how to load the custom backgrounds onto the Sync 3 device, but also how to delete them and how to set them as your actual wallpaper. So without further ado, let's get right on into installing the custom backgrounds mod onto our Sync 3 display right here, and then making some custom backgrounds in Photoshop that we can load onto it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to fmods.net, and we're going to go and we're going to sign in. Uh, I'm already signed in, so if you don't have an account, please make sure you sign up for an account over at fmods, and we're going to click into Sync 3 mods, and uh, as you can see, already logged in, Navi upgrade, and now what we need to do is we need to go into uh, the mods list. So in the mods list here, you're going to see uh, the custom backgrounds loader. So we're just going to click in here. All right, so now that we see the custom backgrounds loader, we just scroll down and we're going to download it. So we're just going to click here and it's going to download up here. We're going to open in folder. And as you can see, we've got the custom backgrounds loader right here. We're just going to extract it. I use 7-zip. You can use whatever extractor you want, including uh, the built-in Windows one, which I believe that you can just click up here to the compressed folder tools and uh, extract all that way. Uh, so once we're in here, we're going to plug our USB stick into our computer. And uh, as you can see, I've actually already got these on here. And uh, what I like to do is I like to make a mods folder so I can have all my mods in one place. So I'm just going to delete this so I can show you moving it over. And I like to keep them in this folder so that when I do drag it over like that, I have all of them named in here and I can load them in as I wish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the custom background loader. I'm going to copy the files inside of here, control C. And I'm going to go back into the main folder. I'm going to do control V and paste them in here. And now we're ready to install the mod onto our sync three. All right, so once we have our mod USB set up, all we need to do is we need to unplug this. And all we need to do is plug it into the USB hub on our Sync 3. So I do not have one right now because I'm on a bench tester, but this can just be your normal USB hub in your car. And you're just gonna plug it in just like that. And we're gonna wait a second. And as you can see, it says a team custom backgrounds loader mod has been installed. Please remove the USB stick to reboot your sync three. And this is uh, developed by Aron. He's a great guy. Uh, he did most of the F mod stuff and really appreciate him for doing all this really cool stuff for us. So we're just going to remove the USB and we're going to wait for it to reboot. This can take a couple minutes just because uh, it needs to realize that the USB has been removed. But once it's removed, it will uh, restart accordingly. And there we go. Now it's rebooting. Now as you can see here we have Sync 3 rebooted and it's like nothing happened to it. Even if we go into uh, you know settings here and we go into our display settings uh, what you'll see is that we only have the Sync 3 custom backgrounds right now. So what we need to do is we actually need to go and load our custom backgrounds onto here. But we actually need to make sure that they're the right size and resolution for Sync 3. Otherwise, they're going to be stretched. They're going to be just kind of like a weird aspect ratio and maybe even cropped into a certain spot. So I'm going to show you how to make your own custom backgrounds in Photoshop right now. All right, so we're going to open up Photoshop here and we're gonna drag in some images that we want to use as our custom background. So uh, the other day I went up into the mountains and I took some photos of my car and I would like to use these as a custom background on here. So I wanna use this one, this one, um, let's see what else. I wanna use this one, this one, and this one. Say, so say these are the ones that I wanna to add to my Sync 3 background. So now all I need to do is I need to drag these into Photoshop 
or any other uh, image editor that you like. And uh, what we're going to do is it should load up something like this. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a Photoshop action that I created to save these uh, to a certain location and resize them and do everything that we need. So I'm going to do one manually first to show you exactly how I do it. But pretty much what I start out doing is I go image size and I turn the width to 800. And as you can see, the height is 533, but that's not going to be right. So I'm just going to scale it to the right width right there. And uh, we're going to control zero this to make sure that it fills the entire screen. Let me back off a little bit. And I'm going to open up my crop tool by pushing C. And I'm going to create an aspect ratio of five to three, because that's actually the aspect ratio of sync three. So all I need to do is, oopsies, I need to just drag up or down. And I think I kind of want it to be up more, because remember, we have the top bar. We've got the bottom bar on sync three. So maybe I'm going to use my arrow keys to just kind of go down a little bit. And I'm going to select OK. And now what I'm going to do is, you know, this isn't a very high resolution image. You can see all the pixel binning and all that kind of stuff. So, but if you zoom out, that's the resolution of sync three. So we know the resolution isn't great, but that's okay because, you know, it's the right resolution for sync three and it's going to look great as our background. But now what we need to think about is there are two modes on sync three. There's a day mode and a night mode. So on day mode, all the text is dark. So if I were to, you know, put some text over this, Let's see, sorry, my text tool is a little weird. Um, and say we type in um, uh, Navi upgrade. You know, if it's here, it looks great. But if we come over here, we can barely read that. So that's going to be an issue. And same thing if it's, uh, you know, day or if it's in the night mode when it's when it's light, you know, it, this image pretty good, but there are some light areas where it'd be hard to read. So what I like to do when I make um, these changes is I like to go in and I double click here, make this into a layer, and I go in and I put a color overlay on here. And I'll do a white overlay for day, and I usually do it to about uh, 60 or 70%. I think we're going to be going more in the ballpark of 60 for this image, and we're going to go OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go control shift S save on your computer and we're going to plug in our USB mod stick again. And on our mod stick, we're actually going to uh, go like this. We're going to go control shift N. So we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this customer backgrounds with a capital B. And uh, we're going to click in. We're going to create two folders, Control Shift N, day, Control Shift N, night. You can also uh, click the folder, uh, new folder button up here if you'd like to do that. And we're going to click this day. And I'm just going to keep the same uh, uh, structure. I'm just going to call this day.png. And actually, I don't want to use PNG. I, it does support PNG, but I don't want to really use PNG. So I'm going to do that again. Save to computer and uh, F mods, uh, customer backgrounds day. And I want to save this as, I guess it's only going to let me do that unless I do save a copy. Um, so I'm going to go like that, save a copy. And this is going to be day. And I'm going to change this to JPEG. And we're good there. And now what I want to do is I'm going to do like 10, like that. And then I'm going to change my overlay by double clicking on color overlay and I'm going to change it to black for our uh, night mode. And this is going to make it so that, you know, our white text, it bleeds through and you can really see it over, uh, you know, the contrast of the image. So I'm just going to go save as, save to your computer, same thing, uh, F mods. We're going to go to customer backgrounds, night, and I'm going to do the same thing, save a copy. And it's going to kick me back there. And we're going to go night. And I'm just going to delete copy and put night and change this to a JPEG. All right. And save it. And this image is good to go. But, you know, that's pretty difficult. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to say no. I'm not going to save that. I want to use this image now, but I'm going to use actions. 
All right, so if you don't see this little actions button over here, you can just go over here to actions and it's gonna pop the window up for you. Uh, and in the description of this video, I'm going to actually give you a download link so you can download this Sync3 Backgrounds Generator um, action from uh, my Google Drive. And what we're gonna do is we are actually just going to click the play button just at the bottom there. And now we're just going to crop the image the way we want. And so I'm thinking I'm just gonna do like that. So it automatically sizes it, it automatically crops it, and now it automatically put the white color overlay on and we just need to save it now. So we're just gonna go here and we're gonna go uh, day and we're gonna go and give this an image, IMG01 day. And we can just save it like that. And then we're gonna do it again because it made a night version like that. And we're just gonna go into night. And uh, we're just gonna go image one night, JPEG, save. And then it closes it for us all automatically and does the next image. So I'm just gonna do a little time lapse of me doing the next ones. All right, so now that we've done that, we can actually go into our uh, USB stick here, and I wanna make sure that we uh, delete the mod that's in there. So because we copied uh, by doing Control C from in here, we can just delete it, and uh, we can always run it later if we need to by copying it again. So I'm just going to press uh, the delete key or just uh, right click and delete, just like that. And now we have this fold folder in here called Customer Backgrounds, and uh, we've got all of our day images in here and we've got all of our night images in here and uh, naming doesn't really matter and I will show you why so now that that's all done and in there like that we can disconnect our USB and now all we need to do is we need to plug this in to our sync 3 USB hub so uh, I'm going to plug in this right now Index it. And as you can see, it says background changes applied. Please remove the USB stick to reboot the Sync 3. So what it's done is it's looked in that customer backgrounds folder. It's seen the day and night folders in there and actually grabbed the images off of our flash drive and loaded them onto uh, Sync 3. So I'm just going to disconnect our USB and we're just gonna wait for it to reboot. Remember this can take uh, a minute or two. All right, now that Sync 3 has been rebooted, we can go into settings. And we're actually going to set the background now. So one thing to realize is that there are two different modes on the display. There's a night mode, which it's currently in. So let's turn this to uh, night and we're gonna go into background. And you can see our images are, are showing up here. And they have kind of a weird crop ratio. Don't worry about that. Uh, they're gonna look fine once they're on the background. So I think I wanna go with, uh, let's see, I wanna go with this one right here. And if we go uh, back, you can see that our background's showing up just like that right there. And we've got our awesome car as our background. And because we put that black overlay, you can see that uh, this text, which is white, is actually able to easily be read. So now let's go into settings again. Let's go to display again, and let's go to day mode. Uh-oh, day mode's white again. So what we need to do is we need to set our custom background for our day mode. So we just go into background, and uh, I'm gonna select the same image. I'm gonna go back, back, home. And as you can see, same image we have set like that. So you'll need to set both your uh, day mode background and your night mode background in order for uh, this to work properly. Now, the next thing I want to uh, show you is what if you decide to sell the car or whatever and you don't want your custom backgrounds uh, showing up on the car. So what you need to do then is we're going to plug our USB stick back into our computer. We're gonna go into our customer backgrounds folder. We're gonna go into our day folder. We're gonna going to delete all the images we just did. 
like that. We're gonna go into our night folder, delete all the images we just did just like that. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna say new and we're gonna click uh, text document. And what we're just gonna write is we're gonna say delete uh, underscore backgrounds dot txt. And if we do that and we put this in both the day and night folders, just like that, we can uh, disconnect our USB thumb drive again. So we're just gonna plug our USB stick back into our Sync 3 USB hub and we're just gonna wait a second and it indexes it and it says background change is applied. Please remove the USB stick to reboot the Sync 3. So we're just gonna do this again and we're gonna wait. And that one was quick. Sometimes you'll get this kind of glitch effect. Everything's gonna be okay, don't worry about it. So as you can see, our Sync 3 has been reset to the basic white background. If we go to settings and we go to uh, display, we're gonna go to background. And as you can see, just the the normal backgrounds that come with Sync 3.4 are installed and uh, you're good to go. So even after you delete your custom backgrounds, you can reload any custom backgrounds at any point in time. You know, if you've loaded too many and you can't really scroll through everything to see, then uh, it's a really good idea to delete the backgrounds and just load up the ones you wanna use and you'll be good to go. All right, everyone, that's how you install custom backgrounds onto your Sync 3 module using the FMODS Toolkit jailbreak functionality. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. I'm always happy to help people out in the comments. Feel free to visit my website, purchase anything you need from there, naviupgrade.com. And if you don't mind, I'd really appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Really helps me out. I really love helping people out and doing all this stuff for everyone. It's really cool. I started doing this full time just a couple months ago and I really love helping people in the community out and I would really appreciate your support. Until the next one, take care.